Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to the Legend Market. I always like to follow up the Legend video with a Legend Market video. I feel like it kind of is appropriate. Follows up on today. Kind of like clarifies some of your questions regarding Legends, as well as then goes on to kind of like sum up the week. Give you guys some insight on what I think is a buy or a sell right now. Although a lot of the market has been a sell, I'm going to go through it all and kind of give you guys an idea of what I've been thinking as of lately. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, go, shout out to Edwin Romero, man. Thank you so much for being a part of the Poodle Squad and showing support each and every day. Greatly appreciate you. And if you guys want your own chance to be shouted out, of course, go down below, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, turn on the noti bell, and you're good to go. Now, let's head over to the market and go through some stuff. Let's get into this as fast as possible so I have as much time I can to talk about it. A lot of stuff to go over on this market. Now, guys, if you do want coins, pick up any of these players for all the buys. I'll go over. Uh, make sure to go down below. Mo Reserve. Use code Poodle 15% off. Take advantage of the discounted coins. Now, let's go check it. Take a look at. Let's take a look at the NFL 100 first. No, 100. Sorry, the 50. Now, with the 50, prices are coming up a bit today. As of this morning, Vernon Davis was 270, and he is on the way up. So, I don't think Vernon Davis is a buy at this moment. He was clearly below his market value before. Now, do I think Vernon Davis is a buy overall? I'm very biased. I really like him. Powered up and chemed up, he does get a 90 speed. Now, in terms of the medium route running, of course, he's not going to get that, which is very harmful for a lot of people who like Darren Waller and stuff. But I think if he gets in the 200K range, you really can't go wrong with an 89 speed tight end, especially if you can't afford Darren Waller regardless. Patrick Willis is a buy. I mean, if Patrick Willis comes out anymore, like, I would snipe him, of course, but 335 is a pretty good price for the best middle linebacker in the game. Of course, you can use safeties there. I know people say that. I do that as well. But I still run one middle linebacker. Typically, I usually run one middle linebacker and then two safeties in the box. So like I have two middle linebackers and a nickel safety, uh, like a nickel corner, but I put a safety there. So it's typically two safeties down low and then one linebacker in the box. Now, Cromartie, I think Cromartie is pretty good as well. Again, guys, these cards are still, these cards are pretty cheap in my mind. I mean, 300K for the best cards in the game right now is really, really cheap value in my opinion. Now guys that I think are buys right now are DRC. Like DRC is probably the best corner in the game, but I feel like that's kind of expensive. He's definitely he definitely should be lower than that. Now you could wait for this week's NFL 50 drop on Thursday, of course. Now remember, it is weekend league, so people playing weekend league this weekend need all the best players, and then some of them sell off after the weekend. So do take that in mind. Now would I be selling anyone? I mean, DRC I'd probably sell him for 460. I know he's not going to stay there forever. Steve Hutchinson and a few of these guys have been weird. They started off really low values and went back up. I think Steve Hutchinson is a sell as well. And if we move on down some more. Brett Favre is probably a sell. Like, Brett Favre is really good in my opinion, but again, I've seen him for 250, 260, like 230. So I don't, I don't believe in that price. For me, if I bought it, if you guys, if you guys are one of the people who bought them at the, in the 200k range, definitely sell them. Take your coins. That's what I've been doing. I've been taking my coins where my coins are deserved and where I earned them and made them through uh, sniping and reselling. Now, in terms of legends, Steve Smith, honestly, Steve Smith's probably a buy. I mean. Again, I'd wait maybe to see if it comes down a little bit more, but 272, like if you get him for that price right there, that's a good solid price. Powered up, of course, to handle the whole thing there and, you know, handle all that. But now, Ricky Jackson is probably someone you need to have on your team, but he's kind of expensive. Again, you may want to wait to come down a little bit. I think right now it's just a good selling point, personally. That's what I've been doing. If you look through it enough, now today's new legends, though. The new legends, like Deacon Jones, is super cheap for his LTD. Honestly, if you guys want to go ahead and get him, I mean, I won't be opposed to it. I do, I do not like the block shed, though. Which is probably why he's so cheap. But again, if you guys wanted him, I don't think that's a horrible price. Now, Edger and James is super expensive, which is kind of weird. I think Edger and James is a sell. I think he's a sell. I think he's great and all. But I think he's a sell. He's going to come down. He's a running back for sure. He's going to come down. So, as of right now, guys, I think we're, we're leaning towards a seller's market, it seems like. There's a lot of good There's a lot of good things to sell right now. Actually, wait, let's go back up and get out of the legends. I want to see a few more things like Barry Sanders. I wonder if Barry Sanders took a hit because of a new running back. Now the thing with Barry's guys, he's gonna start losing value pretty soon. But the thing is, he may get a he may get a Harvest Master. Like I could see it happening. And if he does get a Harvest Master, he's gonna skyrocket probably because you have to use him to power up, which is gonna be crazy. But those LTDs on that I don't think are buys. Chris Harris Jr. is not a buy. Uh, I think these are all sells so far. Most things are gonna be sells for me. Moving on down, Barry Sanders. Let's filter out by Team Diamonds real quick and see if we can. 847. Barry Sanders gotta be sell. He's got to be a sell still. Now, again, if you have him and you like him and you're winning with him, don't touch him. But if you're a guy that, like, tried to snipe him out at, like, 700K and you want to get a little value, again, he's going to come down soon. But if he does get a Harvest Master, I don't know how they're going to handle this. Like, will they put him in the power-up? 
Does his power up start after him? Those are some big questions that need to be answered in terms of whether or not Barry's gonna retain that value. Which trouble why people haven't moved on from him yet. So in terms of LTDs, guys, I personally don't like buying LTDs until the Redux, so that covers that. Now here, the team of the week cards are probably going to be as well going to be sales. Like I just saw some crazy prices on them as well. Now all these guys were cheaper, so I don't know what it is that the training market must be up as well. I mean, the training market must be up for guys like Odell to still be 220k and some stuff like this to still be up. I personally think most things are sells. Chase Claypool is amazing, but he's probably a sell as well. And Chase Claypool can't be powered up. So, for him to be that price and apparently can't be powered up, that says a lot. That says a lot for him to still be available as a guy that price. Nonetheless, it's a seller's market right now. You guys definitely want to be selling, getting your value. We're not too far away from most feared. We're not too far away from harvest we're not too far away from next gen and we don't know if they're gonna do like next gen bundles next gen release thing um house rules and start really kicking things off so i think that was a great time to sell recoup some value on some players again finish your weekend league if you want but remember things are higher during it's it's, it's such a sad uh it's such a sad financial thing so if you're a financial person that like takes this very seriously in terms of making and losing coins it, it tells you sell during weekend league, but if you're also a Madden player, it tells you play during weekend league. So it's a very, a very tough dynamic on that spot in terms of what you want to do. Now, one thing I really noticed, guys, are the base elites. Now, the base elites are definitely, definitely taking an increase in price right now, and I definitely recommend you take advantage of that because these cards were so cheap. If you guys are able to even snag a few of these, like, look at these base elites right here. There was times when these cards were so, hold up. Let me go down one more for the even cheaper ones. This is where you really notice it. So guys like Zach Martin, who I picked up for like 32K, is now going for Quentin Nelson. I picked up for 30K as well, went up 13K. Quentin Nelson uh, was one of them. Let me look up Zach Martin. Zach Martin's another guy that I just sold for like 80,000 coins. He's one up, isn't he? Zach Martin, I sold for 80,000 coins. And I picked him up for like 37, 40K. Yeah, he was really cheap at one point. When that one market crash happened that weekend of the legend packs it was a great time to buy a bunch of base elites like 80k is pretty pretty ridiculous right there just check your base elites and if you got the best things when you remember what you bought them for it's like when i bought zach martin for like 30 40k i'm like a sniper right there i'm able to sell them for 80 again even after reduction i'm still making like 30,000 to 40,000 coins regardless so make sure you're going through your buying that's what i'm doing going through checking some stuff out i have some team of the week stuff that i sold for 40k just make sure you're you're, you're Touch base with your binder and just understand what you have in there. Some excess cards that are kind of high in price now because of training. Just get rid of them. Make a move on them. Take advantage of it, guys. That pretty much wraps up today. There wasn't too much to talk about because there wasn't much buys or anything. It was pretty much just a seller's day. So if you guys have cards you're not using or you're not playing online right now anyways, make sure you're selling them. Capitalize on your coins. Don't don't be that guy that holds when you're not even going to play this week. Like you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like when you have a busy school week or something or work week and you know you're not going to be playing Monday through Friday and you just hold that team there and you come on the next week and like, wow, my team's worth 500k less coins. Don't, don't, don't be in that trap. You guys, about the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Come join the Poodle Squad. Like the video. Comment down below Poodle Squad. If you need coins to pick up any players, which I don't recommend right now anyways, but if you still want coins regardless, if you're like one of the new legends, head over to my reserve. Use code Poodle for 15% off. I'm out. Peace.